Hello everybody, this is Sherry from the CGH Health Foundation and I'm back in the kitchen today with another recipe from What's Cooking CGH. I don't know if you can tell um, over my shoulder, it looks a little brighter now, but it's kind of a rainy day. So what better thing to do when it's a rainy day and you have to stay inside is to bake, right? Everybody's doing a little more baking these days. The problem with that is, is if you live in a one or two person household like me, um, you kind of don't want to bake a big batch of something and have it sitting around the house all day. Uh, or maybe you're just looking for a fun little thing to do with the kids to give them a little bit of a treat. Uh, I'm going to bake a cake today. It's a single serving cake and the first time I saw these recipes for these single serving mug cakes that go in the microwave, I thought they were pure genius and I have baked a few of them since then for friends' birthdays. Uh, I even baked one for the dog. Um, but they're perfect if you just want that little treat but you don't want to have a whole cake sitting around the house. Uh, and again, a fun project to do with the kids. Uh, not a lot of waiting. They go in the microwave. They only take 90 seconds each and so um, even if you have two or three, you can have a little cake for each kid uh, within just a few minutes. So I'm going to get started. I'm doing a really healthy version. I'm doing a peanut butter mug cake and I'm going to start off with some whole wheat flour. And the flour that I use, it's actually a spelt flour. Um, that's uh, the package that comes from the organic section of my local uh, grocery store, the Kroger's. And uh, spelt is a version of wheat, so it's not gluten-free, um, but it, it's a whole grain. And you start off with just three tablespoons of that. I'm mixing everything right in the little cup that I'm going to bake it in. This is uh, just a souffle cup. You could use a small coffee cup, um, anything that is safe to go in the microwave. Uh, so three tablespoons of whole wheat flour. The next ingredient is a half a teaspoon of baking powder that goes right in there. And I'm just going to stir it all up together and to make sure that the baking powder is well incorporated in the mixture before I move forward with the liquid ingredient. So the liquid ingredients. Um, this is a peanut butter cake and so I am putting in a natural creamy peanut butter and this is my favorite peanut butter. Um, I like to use a natural peanut butter because it doesn't have a whole lot of additives and uh, in as few ingredients as possible when you're purchasing your peanut butter. If I look at the ingredients in this one, the, it's just roasted peanuts and salt. That is it. Um, a lot of peanut butters these days um, will add things like palm oil, uh, maybe some other things, and that's to keep the oil from separating. Um, and that's a nice feature, but the problem with that is, is those palm oils are saturated fat, so they're not real good for your heart. And if you stick with a natural peanut butter that is just peanuts, yes, you're going to have a little bit of oil that separates on the top. I buy this particular peanut butter, and you can see what it is. It has kind of a runnier consistency, so it's really easy to stir the oil in. And after I get it stirred in, I store it upside down in my refrigerator, so there's another little tip. And that keeps the oil uh, from separating again, and I can just pull it out of the fridge and use it whenever I want to. So for peanut butter, we're using three tablespoons. And again, this is kind of a runny peanut butter. Like I said, that's one of the reasons I like it. We're going to add three tablespoons of the peanut butter into our little dish here. Anytime you're buying stuff that has a label on it, look at the ingredients. Um, anything that comes in a box or a jar or a package or a can, try to buy stuff that has as few ingredients as possible. Um, the more ingredients, uh, the more likely those ingredients are to be um, artificial or not very good for us. So there's the peanut butter. Next ingredient is going to be a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I like to use a real vanilla. No imitations for me. And my sweetener, I guess again, I said this is going to be a pretty healthy cake. So I'm using some honey. 
Um, and honey is one of those things that goes really well with peanut butter and I'm only going to put a tablespoon of it in there. So this is not a really, really sweet cake. It has no white sugar, just the honey is the only sweetener. And I'm going to start to stir this around just a little bit. And the last ingredient is going to be some milk. You can use any kind of milk you like. I'm using some soy milk, okay? So this is the soy milk that I buy. And again, uh, the reason that I buy this soy milk is that the only ingredients are water and soybeans. That is it. And uh, you can use any kind of milk you want. You can use uh, whole milk, you can use skim milk, you can use almond milk, you can use um, any of the, the, any kind of milk. It's really mostly just for the moisture. And I'm going to put a little bit of the milk in there just to start getting everything mixed up. This takes just a couple of minutes. So, um, like I said, I make this cake for my dog, um, and I call it just one serving. Uh, it does have quite a few calories um, because of the peanut butter. So you're getting like a serving and a half of peanut butter when you do three tablespoons. Um, so there's, you know, 300 calories alone in the peanut butter. Um, my husband calls that a share then. I, don't, I can eat a whole one, but um, <laughs> that's, just a, that's just his opinion and my opinion when it comes to cakes. Um, if you're going to do this in a coffee cup, like I said, you could do it in a coffee cup. You just want a small coffee cup because um, if you do it in a, one that's too big, then the cake just kind of sinks down there. With this size um, quantity, so this is about um, a six ounce souffle cup. I wouldn't use more than like an eight ounce coffee cup. That's going to be hard to, to find. Our coffee cups are so huge. Um, so just getting this all mixed in and again like read the ingredients are three tablespoons of whole wheat flour and you can use any kind of flour you want I like to use whole wheat and then you have a half a teaspoon of baking powder the liquid ingredients then are three tablespoons of peanut butter a tablespoon of honey a half a teaspoon of vanilla and mix it all up and so I was saying that honey and peanut butter go really well together the other thing that goes really well with peanut butter of course are chocolate chips and this is a treat so I'm going to put in just a tablespoon of chocolate chips not too many it's a small cake remember one serving and those chocolate chips, uh, just that small quantity of them is going to be just enough to get maybe one per bite of cake. So now that it's all mixed up, it's going to go in the microwave. So excuse me just a second as I step off camera. Ninety seconds in the microwave. That's it. And I'll show you what it likes, looks like when it comes right out of there, but here's one that I baked earlier. Uh, so it just fills up the little souffle cup and uh, perfect size. Let's give it a taste to make sure that uh, it's good. When these come out of the microwave, um, you're going to want to let them sit for just a minute or two. They will be very hot. Um, so make sure that you've placed it on a plate or if you're using a coffee cup that's perfect you can grab the handle of the coffee cup and uh, let it sit for a minute um, so before you bite into it because it's going to stay very hot um, but they really are best warm um, the microwave um, like I said this is a quick treat um, baking does not work quite the same in the microwave and so I think if you ate it cold it's going to taste just a little rubbery or something uh, but let's give this one a taste Mmm, that is really good. If you're a peanut butter lover, you're going to love this one. There are lots of recipes for these cakes out there. Um, chocolate ones, uh, microwave shortcakes. Um, just micro, uh, search on the internet for microwavable mug in a cake and you will find them. Or you can try this healthy version that I made for you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.